more yellow jacks. There we go. That's a good one, John. Nice work. High five. What is up, everyone? We're out here fishing today. We got John. It's actually my 35th birthday, but we went fishing together. We're hooked up, first bait in the water. Not sure what it is, but we're trying to catch yellowtail snapper for dinner. We got oatmeal, we got Dawson, we got chum. We got something on. I think it's a bonita or a runner maybe, you never know. Maybe it's a big old yellowtail snapper. That's what we want for dinner. So we want dinner fish. We want yellowtail snapper. And we have got a big bonita. So we call that a bonita. Technically it's a little tunny, but uh, my favorite swordfish bait right there. Yellowtail snapper, they only gotta be 12 inches to keep. Yeah. It's gonna be very big, but it's a keeper there and he'll eat good. Oops. One for the fryer, probably a 13 or 14 incher. Hopefully they keep getting bigger. We got something on guys, they ate a shrimp. Big, not sure what it is. Is it? Hopefully we find out. We could see color. Couldn't tell what it was though. Oh, no, it's a whopper yellow jack. Huge yellow jack. Big yellow jack. That's a big yellow jack, you guys. Actually very good eating. Uh, white meat will bleed them out and delicious. Trigger fish. Trigger. Because you said something, I was like, I don't know what he said. But that's right. said okay. We got something on, guys. Seems decent size. Not sure what it is. We're hoping for a big fat mutton snapper. All right, we're out here drifting out deeper now. A lot of bait here. Fish down deep there. See what we got. A shark. A shark? So we caught a few fish today on the reef. Some snappers, porgies, jacks, sharks. But the highlight of the day is the banana cake. Right there. John got it as a surprise and a gift. And it's a birthday banana cake out here off Alamorada at Alligator Reef on March 1st, 2020. Thank you, John. You're welcome, Nick. Thanks again for having Thanks a great day. Let's eat the cake. This is balsamic glaze. And John got some balsamic glaze that we can cook with. <laughs> We'll be in good shape now. <laughs> now, not every day do you get to come out here and eat a birthday cake on the boat, fishing, let alone an alligator reef here. Dispelling the banana myth. <laughs> yep. We don't have any clean knives. We got a fish filleting knife. So we're going to wipe it down and use it. We've probably eaten worse things. Clean enough. That is off center. I knew you didn't want a big banana one. Banana cake. Your, after your refused cookies. Oh my gosh. <laughs> we spilled oh. cake on the Freeman. We spilled the cake on the Freeman. Made it to 35, spent the day with Dawson and John out here. Thank you, John. Yes, thank you. My pleasure. It's pretty good cake. All right, 
right, so there we are with a yellow jack. It's a pretty big one there. Very good size one. Actually, a really good eating fish. Um, most jacks, a lot of jacks we let go, but a few of them are good to eat, and this is one of them. So we're gonna flay them up and uh, save a piece to cook up there. Here we go. It's actually white meat. We bled this fish out, so the, mites, the meat should be really white and clean. And very little blood when we fillet them. That tail is very hard to cut through there. You can see that. Their tail is super hard. They're very strong scales and like almost like a bony edge on it. Just cutting up above his rib cage there. He's got big rib bones like most jacks. There we go. There you have it. Big fillet of jack. We're gonna knock the skin off him too. Nah, not today. Has anybody been doing any? Uh, not today, no. Yesterday. How about tomorrow? <laughs> Borderline, but That's what we're windy. Yeah. It's pretty neat though right there. You know, a lot of people don't know that. Yellow Jack, though, is very good to eat. I'm just knocking all the skin off, and they have quite a bit of bloodline that runs down the center of the fillet there. You can see there's a little bit there, so we're gonna knock that bloodline out, too. All right, so that's half the Yellow Jack, you guys. They won't listen to someone who... I don't know, I didn't do it. You get the point, we'll see you back in the kitchen. Remember what I told you? Want the job done the easy way? What do you do? Call you? Look for the laziest man. Okay. You take me go to the company. Alrighty. That's Jeffrey chiming in there. Yellow Jack. We're gonna eat it. We're back in the kitchen. Sarah's cracking stone crab claws right there. Oh yeah. Look at that. Now some people use a spoon to crack them, but if you're doing a bunch of them. <laughs> If you're doing a bunch of them, the commercial cracker is a lot easier and better. We got 40 stone crab claws today, and we're gonna grill some swordfish, but I'm also gonna cook up that yellow jack that we caught yesterday. We got three pieces of it right here. We got some new olive oil from Ala Murata, the blood orange flavor, and we're gonna give it a shot. We're gonna put that on it. We also got some fresh key limes from Barry. If you come to the Keys, you gotta try some key limes. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna put a little key lime zest on them and a little salt and pepper and see how it turns out. So we got Sadie here. She's got it on her butterfly wings. Princess wings. Say hi, Sadie. Wings. Wings. Now you know that Sadie loves stone crabs, and she's trying to get in the bag right now. You can eat those claws, Sadie. Oh, Sadie got into the bag. She's gonna try to eat her crab claws right now. You can eat that? Ooh. Can we eat that nibble? Here, show yeah. this. Look. Ooh, there's one opened up for you. Look, she already knows. Mmm. <laughs> hold it. So Sadie loves stone crab claws. It is too funny. Ooh, stone crab. I'm gonna get back to cooking the fish. And we got swordfish over here too, right there. It's going on the Traeger. We're gonna rub it all over there. And do all these fillets just like that. We're going with sea salt and black pepper next. and some key lime zest to finish it off. I think we're gonna go on the bigger one. I'm just keep going there. All right, I guess that a cheese grater did not work good for zesting, but we got a little bit on there. You can see a little bit. That's hot. All right, swordfish going on, then yellow jack going on. Look at that. 
Ooh, listen to a sizzle. That's the belly meat of the swordfish right there. That's gonna be really good. Here goes the yellow jack. I haven't had a yellow jack probably in two years. Mostly because I don't reef fish. We'll be back in a few. Fish is coming off the grill. Ooh, almost dropped it. Everybody makes fun of the lunch tray, but it's really good here. It doesn't drip no juice everywhere. Let's see. Ooh. 30 more seconds. A good way to check your swordfish to see if it's cooked, grab the skin on the outside of the filet, and if it peels right off, you know it's done. Look at that. That's as fresh as it gets. We just caught that fish a couple days ago. Look at that, white and starting to fall apart. We're shutting down the grill, we're going to eat. Here we go. All right, it's time for our feast. We got Chase here, Brad's here, Sadie's here, Sarah's here, and Nick's here. This is the day after my 35th birthday, so it's my late birthday dinner. What are you trying first, Yellow Jack? Mm -hmm. All right, oh. so Brad's trying the Yellow Jack first. We want to see what he says. It's actually really good, uh, the way you uh, your key lime zest. The zest? The zest did it. All right, the zest didn't work on, as good on the cheese grater as I'd hoped, but we got plenty of key lime juice on it and a little bit of the skin. Did you try it? Yeah, How is it? It's good. First time ever. First time Chase ever had a yellow jack. I think Nick should refish more. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he wants me to refish more. I ain't doing that. I'm sticking to sword fishing. We got stone crab claws. We got swordfish. I'm going to try a piece of that yellow jack too now. Nice white meat right there. Real juicy. Mustard sauce is amazing. Here we go. Sauce falling right apart. That's yeah, so that's falling right apart there. Really tender. Let's see. Here it goes. I think the yellow jack's good. It is good. I can taste the salt and pepper. A little bit of the olive oil. I can definitely taste the key lime on it too. I'm going back for more. Look at that. So a lot of jacks have a bad rap. You know, a lot of people don't eat them, but yellow jack's actually really good. Um, you know, we blood that fish. The meat's pretty white. It's thick and dense. We cooked it on the grill about 400 degrees, maybe eight minutes, and it turned out great. You can see it flaking right apart. I'd eat that all day long. It is good. We gotta see if Sadie likes it though. She wants to dip the crab in the sauce. Sadie. 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 You wanna bite a fish? Oh, there you go. Let's see if she eats it. What do you think of the fish, Sadie? I'm gonna dip it in the sauce. Dip it. Oh, there she goes. Mm. Alrighty, Sadie likes the yellow jack. You know it's good. She loves to dip things now. She dips it in the sauce there. That's the sauce for the stone crab claws, the mustard sauce. Um, I like butter if I'm going to eat them, although I don't eat a lot of them. We're getting back to eating dinner. Thanks for watching this video, you guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for being part of our channel. We're closing in on 50,000 subscribers, so can't thank you enough. And we got more videos coming your way. We're going to show you life in Almorada and what we do every day. Bye. <laughs> oh, finger licking good, huh? Mm-hmm. Why don't you go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. <laughs> go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button, says Brad. Look at all these stone crab claws these guys are going to eat. I'm eating fish. See you all next time. Bye, Sadie. Nick's cleaning the kitchen is what's going to happen. I got to clean the kitchen apparently. We're gone. <laughs>